My name is Juha Antila. I come from company Kenpolis. I'm very happy and honored to be here to present our company and our products. I will focus on advantages of our products and on their markets. We call ourselves a biorefining technology corporation because our main products are to biorefining technologies. Here you can see our main location, which is in Oulu, in northern Finland. Here we have our own biorefinery for customer trials and demonstration of our technologies. There we have also our headquarters, R&D center. Altogether we have some 8, eight hectares land area and 14,000 square meters of floor area. So a lot of space to play around. Campolis is a medium-sized company that was established in 1995. And we supply biorefining technologies that are sustainable and we patent them globally continuously. Our technologies have been acknowledged in different evaluations by World Bank, Department of Energy of United States, and also the chemical company BASF. We have also made license agreements with UPM and a couple of other customers as well. And our main products are two technologies, Formicofib, which is for the production of fibers from or paper making fibers from non-wood raw materials, and then Formico Bio, which is technology for the production of cellulosic ethanol. And our business idea is to deliver Formico biorefineries based on our technologies. And the idea is that these biorefineries make sustainable results both economically, environmentally, and socially. And these biorefineries use as raw materials different non-wood and non-food biomasses. For example, cereal straws like wheat straw or bagasse from sugar cane. And as I showed, we have a own biorefinery in Finland so our, our technology is, is mature for commercial large-scale application. And we are currently considering venture capital funding for rapid deployment of our technology, which also would mean rapid growth of our business and our company. Here on this slide, I will show principal concept of a biorefinery based on our technologies. So the raw material is, or can be different, non-food and non-wood biomasses. And from cellulose fraction of biomass, we can produce paper-making fibers, or alternatively, bioethanol to be used as a biofuel in transportation. Then from hemicellulose fraction of biomass, we can produce different biochemicals. Lignin fraction of the biomass will be used in power plant as biofuel, and the power plant will produce power and steam that is needed in the biorefinery. And the remaining ash can be refined into a fertilizer and returned back to the fields. We are confident that uh, we have a leading and a superior technology for the production of paper-making fibers from non-wood raw materials. Firstly, thanks to the co-production of biochemicals with our technology, the producer can generate 25% more sales revenues than by other technologies. Secondly, our technology enables reduced operating costs. Lastly, thanks to the full recovery of chemicals and also because production can be self-sufficient in terms of energy. 
And in, a, in addition to economical advantages, we also give environmental adv advantages. Biorefineries, based on our technology, doesn't produce any CO2 emissions, no pollution, and also we have full recovery of chemicals and water in the process. Our initial focus has been markets in China. This figure shows the capacity of current non-wood pulp production in China. So the current production is approximately 12 to 13 million tons. But uh, because the current production is outdated and polluting, Chinese government has already manda mandated closure of older mills. Uh, at the same time, paper consumption in China is growing rapidly, so also the need for paper making fibers, which means pulp. So the demand for pulp is increasing due to the overall increase in paper consumption. So these two volumes are market for our Formico FIP technology. And altogether they represent 20 million tons per annum until estimated until the year 2020, which means approximately 200 biorefineries has to be built to meet this capacity demand. Then our second technology is the production of bioethanol. And just like Formico FIP, Formico Bio is a leading and superior technology. Thanks to co-production of biochemicals, we can generate 40% more sales revenues than other technologies. We have reduced operating costs, thanks to easy hydrolysis of cellulose, and also easy fermentation of glucose into ethanol. And just like Formico FIP, Formico Bio also has superior environmental features. So no CO2 emissions, pollution, and recovery of chemicals and water. And also in biofuel business, our initial focus is in China. This slide shows the targeted biofuel production in China. And our focus is on cellulosic ethanol. And this targeted capacity is 8 million tons per year until year 2020, which corresponds approximately to 150 biorefineries. And as a summary of my presentation, I want to say that we have now mature technologies that are superior compared to other technologies, and they, are, they have been developed for growing large markets. And we are considering venture capital funding to take over these markets. I thank you for your attention, and I am happy to answer the questions of the jury. Okay. Okay, some questions. Ulla, Ulla, would you like to start from that end? Or? Yes, please. Um, can you say something about the, the, the cost of, of B ethanol if you use your process compared to, to crude or petrol? Have you have some, some benchmarks there? Well, it's largely dependent on the price of biomass. Uh, for, for example, in China, the price of ethanol is around 600 euros per ton. And with that price, we can produce, we can, or with that, that price, a biorefinery is clearly profitable. Okay, thank you. Um, sounds to me like it's a very capex uh, need in business. So, how much money are you looking? Five million or 50 or 100? Or what, what's the sort of a. You are building refineries. Is that your no, business? Uh, sorry. Or are you selling technology? We are, we are selling technology. Okay, so, so you're like an R&D company selling technology to refineries. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, proof of concept. So do you already have a customer and, and, and are you producing already to them and you are getting money from that? No, we don't have such customer yet. We have made license agreements, but the mills have not yet been constructed. 
we have our, our own biorefinery for demonstrating our technology and customer. So trials. you have a demo center, but not running concept yet. Correct. Janne, would you have any question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe the funding funding needs still, and where where you will be using your your uh, capital investment. I'm sorry. I... Uh, the funding funding need. Can you please repeat on how much funds you are seeking and, and where you are using those funds? Um, I would like to answer these kind of questions one on one discussions if you don't mind. Okay, maybe you talked about the team. How many people you have and what is the management team size? We have a, approximately 25 people in the in the company altogether at the moment and. The, Size of management team is uh, is seven persons. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.